Hi there. In this video, I will tell you how to copy files uh, much better than cp command, especially if you're willing to install another software on Linux. One of these powerful tools, which has lots of options, is a command called rsync. Rsync might not be installed on your Linux by default, so if it's not, you can always install it by using the, your favorite package manager based on what Linux distribution that you use. If you're using Ubuntu, you can use apt install rsync, of course, with a sudo option. It's already installed in my system, but if you're using uh, uh, Debian or Ubuntu, you can use apt. If you're using Fedora, you could use DNF or yum, or if you're using Arch, you could use Pacman. Use the package manager. It's available in all the, all the popular Linux distributions in their package repository. Rsync can fully replace a couple of tools. It can replace a CP command if you want to copy files across networks using SV protocol, or it can also communicate via FTP protocol, uh, downloading from FTP repositories. It can also let you copy files locally. But one of the features I really like about Rsync, which I'll focus on in this small video, is how to copy files with proper progress bar, with some kind of progress on the file copy. So let's say I want to copy uh, uh, for directory tree this time. Same time, just like I did with cp command in one of my earlier videos. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use rsync. If I want to copy a directory tree, I can just say minus a, just like cp minus a, rsync minus a is archival mode. It'll try to maintain as much of stat details from the source to the destination. Uh, when sizes are being printed in the progress, I want to print it in a human readable format. So I'm going to use minus h switch. Minus h indicates human readable uh, output in terms of sizes. And um, I can also use one more switch, which is a capital P, which indicates print progress. But instead of using capital P, I should use something else this time because I want to single, put a single progress bar. I'll show you the difference in a while. I'll use minus H and um, I can just provide uh, minus minus info equals progress two. I can also use minus minus partial. If a copy happens in a partial form and exits, let the partially copied data remain so it can continue later on. And you can also use minus minus in place to copy into destination file in place. So all these switches could be useful. Um, it's so many switches. So you might want to put this in an alias, which I will show you in a while. And you can just type, let's say Linux kernel. It's a Linux backup to this time. I think I have Linux backup folder from one of my earlier videos. I'm going to copy it in another folder this time. When you run this command, is run, run this command. You get a nice progress bar with even the percentage which you don't get with DD command or CP command, which I really liked. It copies the entire contents and tells you which time it takes to copy. Yeah, it's done. Looks like the file size is quite big. I mean, the directory truck structure seems to be big, so it made a made a backup of this. Now. If I run this command one more time, one more time, you can see that unlike CP command where I have to say Linux kernel slash star and all that, rsync is smarter than CP command. It knows that this particular folder is already in sync. It tries to check if there's any changes. It only copy those delta changes. Otherwise, it just keeps it in sync. In fact, that's the reason why it's called as rsync. And one of the interesting features of rsync is that you can also copy files on the remote server or copy files from remote server. Let's say I want to copy a file on the remote server. I could actually use rsync and uh, I could actually use any website. I have my own website in here. So I'm going to copy that in my folder. It's got a prompt for the password because I don't say the password um, key based authentication. So if I type, just type in the password, oh. it's going to transfer this into the remote server and keep it in sync. I'm going to stop this. So I'm just giving an example on how you can copy an entire data tree while printing progress bar. Remembering all the switches can be a little cumbersome. It's a one time effort. I would recommend to create shell aliases. So I would say alias. I've, I've already have created a shell alias. I call this RCP. Okay, I can show it to you right here. I could use rsync minus ah minus minus partial minus minus in place minus minus info is equal to progress to. 
If you don't use minus minus progress, uh, minus minus info is equal to progress to, it will show you progress for every single file is copied, which may not be very convenient. For example, yeah, I could also have said uh, um, rsync minus ah capital P. There's a shorthand for telling minus minus progress. And um, you could also use just let's say, I'm not going to use minus partial and minus in places time. This is only meant for backup kind of option, right? Update option. So we just a Linux kernel and say Linux backup three. It gives a progress for every single file. If you want to progress for every single file, this may make sense. But if you want to get a total summarized progress, you can stop using minus capital P like this. You could actually use minus minus info is equal to progress to. This will give you a summarized progress, which can be quite convenient if you're copying a huge directory tree. Right? And uh, the options I told you, which I recommend using, are these. This minus minus partial will keep partial partial copies in place, so it will continue if the if at all the copy operation got interrupted in midst. And in place is going to copy the contents in place without creating a new folder inside the destination. That's what it, that's what this does. Um, if you don't like to use short options, the long option variant, I could actually say uh, 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 I could say alias RCP is equal to. I could use rsync minus minus archive. That's what minus a switch expands to minus minus human readable. That's what minus h switch expands to minus minus partial minus minus in place minus minus info is equal to progress. This is an alias that I would keep. So I can simply use RCP instead of CP command in sport. You can say RCP and I could say Linux kernel and say Linux backup three. So I think it looks like it's copied most of the files. So it just synchronized and uh, looks like there's no changes, right? So you can use this option as an alternative for CP command. If you want more details and more progress, the side effect benefit you can also copy from remote servers if you have your server credentials user at hostname colon slash path to your destination to local directory or from local folder to the remote directory uh, this is what rsync is to know more about rsync there are lots of switches hopefully in the future video i'll cover some more interesting options in rc uh, rsync but you can actually look up the man page for rsync by using man rsync if you install them you have a lot of options in here right um, it's a big utility with lots and lots of options and features. You can see there's a lot of switches in this place, right? I only showed you some of the refined switches which you might find useful immediately. So do look up for more switches and more options for use case. I hope you found this video useful. If you do find, find it useful, please do comment so I can make more videos on the same lines in the future. Thank you very much. Hope to meet you in future videos.